How's it going, my dandelions? Welcome to my RuneScape from Scratch series. Now, I've been really wanting to get back into this game because it's been my favorite game since childhood. I just didn't really know how to get back into it. So what I did was I went ahead and got rid of all my items. I liquidated my bank around Christmas time and I went ahead and bought the green Santa hat. I got my gold party hat and that's all I have plus my essence of finality which is the best necklace in the game. I don't know if they made a better one or not but I went ahead and liquidated everything so I have nothing. I literally have nothing. I have placement holders for pets that I got. I have portable bank something um, but I'll show you guys. This is this is my bank here. I'm not going to use any of this in the series besides the necklace. I'm keeping the necklace because honestly I worked really hard to get that. I got it from scratch. I challenged myself to make it from scratch, and I did. So I'm actually going to keep that for the series. Once it goes to out of charges, then I'm going to have to pay for it. I hope that's okay with you guys. And then I got two portable deposit boxes. I won those. I'm like, you know, screw I'm going to use it. This yak thing honestly keeps coming back to me. I don't know how to kind of, kind of get rid of it. And then these are just going to stay in my bank forever. And, uh, yeah, I want to start a From Scratch series. Now, when it comes to bossing, I'm not really the greatest bosser. I know how to do some Telos. I can solo next. Uh, Araxor is very easy, in my opinion. Um, I did 500% Arch Glacier. Like, I've done a little bit of, I guess, medium PVMing. I haven't done any super high-tier PVMing, like Angel of Death, Raids, like the high-tier ones, of course. But um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting into that. I did luckily meet a friend from Valorant, which is dope, that does play RuneScape. And he's just getting into bossing. So I'm going to get on that grind to get as much gear as I can to teach my friend a lot about bossing. I do have soul splits. I do have Prif and all that unlocked. But I have a little thing over here before the episode 1 comes out. So we're going to talk about the goals this episode. So in order for this episode to come out, I need to do 5 to 10 clue scrolls. I'm a clue junkie. I love clue scrolls. I don't do them as fast as most people, but I really enjoy them. Um, number two, try to make at least five mil. Number three, get back my full globe trotter set, which is I think two point five mil for the entire thing, maybe more. Um, get back my thieving set, so when I AFK thieving or something like that, I need that uh, master thieving outfit back. I'm gonna try and get that. My gold guthans because that's a good way to get hellhounds and get hard clues. I want to kill at least a boss ten to fifty times. That can be easy if I do arch blazer, so I think that's pretty fair. Um, and then obtain one unique from bossing. And by the way, no prif at all. So I say no prif thieving, but I mean no prif at all until I am done number three on the list. Now I am maxed. I'm not the greatest. I only have two 120s. I worked my ass off to get this one. Then I found out there's an AFK place you could do apparently. Um, and I never ended up actually AFKing. And I worked really hard and went to Bandos pretty much for it. And uh, yeah, so we're trying to get that 10k as well. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you're excited for the series. If you are, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff will be down below. I also stream on Twitch now, and I do it full time. Not as a job, I just do it every day. I would love to do it as a job. Eventually, we're so close to being able to possibly get there. And I'd love to have you. There'll be a link for that down below. I also make custom emotes. If you are a streamer, if you do YouTube, if you do have a Discord that needs custom emotes, I do that all for free. Something really fun that I enjoy to do. Maybe a year from now, who knows? I might not be doing it for free anymore, but definitely hit me up because I think I do some pretty decent artwork. Um, I have a lot of RuneScape ones. I'm actually trying to make a bundle to get rid of and kind of sell that as maybe a side little bit of profit. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in a little bit with the first clip. I apologize. It's been like a three minute intro, but if you stuck around, thank you guys so much. Peace. My goodness, guys, we did it. 10 easy clue scrolls completed. We managed to get the Wicked Hood at Birthorp as well. Um, I also put on my cosmetic outfit to make me look kind of cool. Um, but we did it. 10 easy clue scrolls. Let's go ahead and get that zoom in and see what we get. Good luck to us. I'm really hoping we get something pretty decent. So 32k. That's honestly not that bad. Uh, 14k. Any reroll I have, I'm going to try and do it. 133k. What the heck? Is it Lighthouse teleports that are expensive? 34k. 11k and a master. 21k. Come on. We just need one. Just please. I just spent like Oh god, I deleted all those that I used to have. Man, this is this is horrible. I've never had such bad luck. 100k, I have to keep it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, RuneScape. 1.4 mil, guys. Holy Atlanta. We needed that. Like, we needed that really, really badly. Stuff it got into the bank. I forgot it does that now. 1.5 mil. Oh my god, yes. Guys, we did it. Oh my god. Thank the lord.
thank the Lord for that. Holy crap. I literally, I thought we were going to get nothing. I love doing easy clues, and I almost just got screwed by the pooch. Let's go ahead and look at the bank real quick, guys. Oh my god, yes. So we're going to just, I don't know what's worth, like, nothing. So we'll put all those in there. We'll take this out. And, uh, you know what? Maybe I can just do this. We can note it and we possibly get it all out for a proper price check here. Fantastic. Let's go ahead, guys. How much money do we make from 10 easy clues? 3.3 mil? Oh my god. So first up, we just completed our first task. Do 5 to 10 easy clues. Well, 5 to 10 clue scrolls. And I managed to do that. We did get one master clue. We can try and do that during the series. Probably won't be able to do it until I get my globe trotter. Um, just because I can skip it and all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and sell this and I'll see how much money we have and we're gonna go do some bossing like <laughs> yes. I think what we'll do is maybe a little bit of barrows first because barrows is kind of fun and um, After that we could do arch glacier we could do like we could try a few things honestly So I'm super super stoked about that that went really good Yes, 3.3 mil and maybe like 30 minutes. Hell yeah, I'll take that all right, guys, so I sold them and I went under, and this is 1.7 mil, 1.6 mil. So we made a lot more than we thought. We have 3.4 mil, plus we still have all this junk to sell. I am so stoked right now. That's another 400k. We're almost at 4 mil. We almost completed our second goal. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to change the color, and hallelujah, praise the Lord. That is phenomenal. I'm so stoked about that. So I've been thinking a little bit on what I'm going to do and I'm going to get started by reclaiming my entire Globetrotter outfit. It is going to cost me 2.5 mil for this, but this is a complete hybrid outfit and I feel like it might be pretty useful. Even though it is just for clues, I really feel like it's going to help out. So if I wear this outfit, if I'm correct, I hope I am, it should be, yeah, tier 75 hybrid armor, just like that. Super fantastic, something pretty simple. And uh, it's also going to give me a few benefits when it comes to clue scrolls. So that's my tier 75 hybrid armor. Um, it's not the best in defense and stuff like that. But this is going to be good for early bossing. Like, honestly, just doing barrows or something like that. So I feel like that's going to help me out until I need really good gear. Uh, I didn't know it was hybrid. I had to think about it. And then I was like, wait, I think it is. And luckily it is. So we're going to go ahead and get a staff. And then some runes, and we're gonna send ourselves right to Barrows, and that's where we're gonna get started on our journey. So, again, if you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and down below. I'll see you guys at Barrows with our first few chests. So, because we're starting fresh, I went ahead and got a crystal staff. I didn't really know what to look for, that was super cheap and kind of inexpensive. A crystal staff is level 70 and only cost me almost 300,000. We still have around a mil left. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my Wicked Hood charges and I'm going to get as many air runes as I can for the 125 essence and then whatever I have left, we're going to buy some food and some supplies. I should be able to do barrows with no food and no supplies at all, but I'm not confident and nor 100% if I can. So I'll buy a minimal and then we're going to go into some other things. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we make maybe 2 mil at barrows um, very quickly. I'll be very happy. Um, but other than that, let's just jump straight into it. I'll see you guys with some bossing, hopefully. It is time. The first chest. Let's get it. What do we get? First chest. 59k. Honestly, not that bad. Chest number two. Damn. And we're back with another chest. 60k. One of our better ones, tell ya. We're back with another chest. 64k. Our best one so far. Oh, we actually got a unique, finally. We got a Carol's Coif, 828k. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. That is honestly fucking awesome. I didn't expect to get an item so soon. I think this is like maybe our fifth chest. I don't even know. Oh, thank you, RN Jesus. Is it possible for a back-to-back? -back? No, but that's our second best chest. Hell yeah, we'll take that. All right, come on, baby. Another, wow, another really good chest. I'm actually like not even mad. We're, we keep getting pretty decent chests. It's actually pretty awesome. Quite possibly the last chest of the day. 103k. We'll take it. We're gonna go ahead and price check everything now. So we're gonna get out of this zoom mode and turn myself back on that way you guys can actually see me. And uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and price check everything that we've gotten from Barrow so far. So we're gonna get that out of there. I'm gonna note everything except for the coins because. I can actually track the coins, just because in my opinion the coins don't really matter. Uh, that doesn't matter either. And uh, yeah, let's see. How much money did we get? We got 1.6 mil. I was trying to get 2 mil. We didn't get it. So I'll go do one chest 
and that's it. I'm gonna call it. All right, so last chest, you guys get to see me. I'm gonna go ahead and get that zoom in here, and uh, boom, last chest of the day, 74K. So we just made it under the two mil mark at Barrows. I'm pretty proud of that. Like I said, I'm gonna go AFK some Arch Glazer now and see how that goes with our gear setup. And yeah, we've been rocking a chef's hat the entire time. Oh, freaking well. Oh yeah, guys, we actually got a really good drop, 231K. All right, guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and get like a little bit of kills here while I was AFKing, and we got about 500k made off that. We're now going to switch it up. I'm going to sell what we have and see what I can get, and I'm going to try to figure out what boss I can do, or I'll get a Reaper and see if I can do my Reaper possibly. I also have a Slayer to ask. All right, guys, so I'm going to try something a little different. I went ahead and got myself my Master Camel back and my Golden Guthans. It cost me 450k to get that back with the repair bill. And that completes our number three of our thing here. But now we need to try and get one unique from bossing and then try to at least make five mil. So we need 2.4 mil still to go to get the five mil goal. Um, I don't know if you can do bandos with this gear here. I went ahead and bought an Elder in 2H. I'm going to go ahead and try to do bandos in this kind of basic -y kind of gear. And I'm really going to hope that it's going to work out for me. I'm not sure if it will or won't. All right, so it's time. We got 40 KC, 41 KC. We got our penance on. Penance is only on temporarily just in case, you know, we get slapped. I'm going to go ahead and do an instance encounter. I'm going to go on the fastest. It's going to cost us 200k, guys. I'm really hoping we do okay here. I've never done bandos without having, like, my good stuff. I used to do this way back in the day with Guthans, with my buddy carrying me. So I'm super excited to give it a go. I hope everything goes according to plan. I know he can hit pretty hard. I'm hoping that I can soul split this and then everything goes according to plan. If it doesn't go according to plan and we get slapped like we just did, I might just pray defense. Because I do want to be smart. I want to try to be conservative towards my food and stuff like that as well. I also don't know what ability... Oh, right there. Shifty. I was wondering where the heck my ability went. I haven't played Runescape in a while, so I don't exactly know where most of my abilities are. But there's the first kill of our trip, guys. Uh, we didn't really get anything too good. So I did get some uh, s some note paper. So we can go ahead and note the bones. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys if we get our first unique. Our goal is one unique. If we can get a unique, guys, that's a check off our little list here, okay? So that is the master plan right now. We're trying to get that done up. I'm going to go ahead and probably record this entire session. I'm just going to mute it and we'll go through it with some like speed, you know what I mean? Try to go through it with some like possible speed kills. I don't know if we're counting this as a unique, guys, but that's a God Sword Shard one right there. Alright guys, that is the last skill for now. So we can actually last here a lot longer than I thought. I guess gear doesn't really matter, it's just the stats. Since my stats are pretty much max and I'm overloading, we can really do quite a lot of kills. You know, we'll do we'll do just one more. And then um that we're gonna call it because I do gotta go again at pay-per-view night and Alicia needs to make dinner for her son. So we're gonna go ahead and get up all this little bit of mutation now we got if you guys were paying attention to the coin started i think we've already gotten over 400k coins just raw coins as is which is honestly kind of insane uh because we we're out we're around 1.4 1.5 and now we're almost at two mil coins by itself just from coming to this guy so he's really good for money if you have a spring cleaner if you don't have the spring cleaner make sure you bring that magic defense paper but there we go guys that's the last kill for now we did 31 kills um, I did get a loot of three noted bones. So we did 31 kills, which we lasted for. We're only leaving because we have to go IRL. But yeah, thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you hopefully with some more bandos. All right, so I did two hard clues that we got from bandos yesterday since we were trying to do bandos. I had to be a little quiet because the little man's sleeping. But if we're lucky, we might pull something. 1.8 mil. Okay, 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 okay. I take that. 100%, 100k kind of shit, but reroll. 150k, not bad. We also got a large bonus XP star. I just always put these in Slayer. You know, go for that 120 Slayer. We already have 8 million bonus XP in it. But honestly, that just doubled our cash stack. That's actually kind of really nice. I'm gonna price check everything. Take out the five sharks. Boom, one point, almost two mil. Okay, I see you, I see you. So I'm going to go ahead and record this kill because this is actually going to be a massive milestone for me and I'll let you guys kind of figure out what it is. 
So I've been doing bandos for a long time. It was the first boss that I ever really did uh, when coming to play RuneScape. After my best friend Adam taught me how to play the game properly after I quit when EOC came out because I didn't fully understand it. And I've been doing bandos for a really long time. I fell in love with him, honestly. Made a shit ton of money off of him, especially when it came to uh, Invention being released and then Invention, um, you know, kind of really needing these pieces and people to sacrifice them. So I made a lot of money and I really stuck to it. I really enjoyed the boss. Something I could also AFK while watching things. I'm not really AFKing right now, kind of just fiddling around. But um, it's been a long time coming. But here we go. This is going to be 10,000 general guard or kills. So I don't know where it says it in here, but right there, there's 10,000 general guard or kills. We ended up getting an elite clue. We didn't get anything really special, but Mawson, you killed 10,000 general guard in normal mode. I know it's only normal mode, but like to me, like this boss gives me so so much nostalgia because this is one of the first, I keep hitting D by the way, I keep meaning to bury these. I, this is one of the first bosses I ever did and I, I learned it because of my buddy. And this is where I got my 99 strength. This is where I got my 99 attack. This is where I got my 99 defense my 99 hp like i got so much of my skills just from doing this boss which is honestly like ginormous to me because i never knew anything about it i know this game's not really like the greatest like not the game but i know this boss isn't really the greatest and a lot of people make fun of this boss but 10,000 kills for me that's a lot of time and i just think it's a really dope accomplishment i didn't want to go for 10,001 but I need money right now. Maybe later we can try to go for, who knows, like 15,000. Then we can get a sick little number. But I love this boss. I'm never going to stop doing him. It's one of my favorite bosses to do. Super chill. Super easy. And I highly recommend it for people that are trying to learn PVM. This boss is such a great boss. And oh my god, I didn't realize I brought those. But you know what? Screw it. Free XP. Alright, so we got the first drop of the hour. So we got ourselves a God Sword Shard 3. Now, if you remember... Uh, when I was doing it a little earlier, I ended up also getting a God Sword Shard. I don't know exactly which shard I got last time. I scroll through here. God Sword Shard 1. So if I wanted to, I did sell it. I could buy it back and we could try to build a God Sword from scratch. would be kind of dope. I'd have to get a hilt of some sort. I'd love to get a Sarah hilt. I've never gotten a single unique from Sarah and I've done it over 600 freaking times. And it is a pain in the butt to do. But there we go. That is one drop we've gotten so far. Not too bad, honestly. I'll take 150k just like that. Alright, so hopefully my brother's cat is quiet, but that is an hour of bandos down. Now, we didn't get a unique, but what we did end up getting was all this loot here that you guys are about to see. 1.8 million an hour. Honestly, not too bad. I was trying to hopefully get one unique. I didn't end up getting one. We even tried to buy some bandos. We couldn't get any for, like, base price plus 5%. Only thing I got was bandos gloves. Now, on top of this all, we got two elite clues, three hard clues. We also got ourselves one ancient effigy in an uncharted map i don't know what the heck that really is i always get him i got a mimic kill token a whole bunch of bones we only got the bone drop once and it was a four so that means we ended up doing i want to say six uh 56 kills i'm gonna say if not 56 57 kills in that hour with just basic gear like guthans and an elder rune to each like come on that's pretty insane. I always sip once out of the potions that get dropped, so that's why there's noted three there as well. We started picking these up because of memes. Uh, my best friend will know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, yeah, so this is our loot from that boss. Honestly, not that bad. We did, like I said, we did hit that five mil mark, which is sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. Uh, technically, we got one unique from bossing. I thought about it. We got the Carol's Coif, but I wanna get one unique that's not from Barrows before we upload this episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and store of this and we're gonna go back to barrows again uh not barrows sorry bandos again for one more hour as you guys would have seen no luck of bandos so far so we're going for our third hour and i'm really hoping we get something we're going to be using the vampirism aura basic gear again guthans with the elder in 2h club trotter backpack bandos gloves bring the wealth or you know the world's greatest necklace and then all this stuff in here. I'm gonna really hope we get one unique, that way this video can get published. I think we've done really good, honestly. I'm really proud of myself. If we don't get anything here, um, I think I'll try some Hellware. Or if not, I'll do it next episode. We did it. It happened. Our first unique. And the best part is, like, I don't even actually have to sell it. It's so cheap. I'm very sad. It's like 100K. But you know what? That is a massive upgrade from our clue 
Hunter like Globetrotter boots here. Look at this. Yes, we did it, boys. We got ourselves some Bandos boots. Oh my god. Oh my godness, I almost said. Oh my goodness, 113k. I literally tried to buy these for like 150k and they weren't even buying. So you know what? I'll take that. I'm, I'm pretty sad that that's what our unique is. But once this hour ends, boys, we're going to sell everything. We're going to check out how much we made this entirety of this episode. And that's going to be the end. So let's stick around if you want to see the price check. But man, I'm so happy. Hopefully, maybe we get another unique. Bandos, I promise you guys, normally is like... Just treating me like a beautiful woman, you know, giving me all the stuff that I need in life to make me a happy guy. And uh, this time, honestly, it, it, he's just hating me. He's not liking me at all. And that's it. That's a wrap. This is episode one of my From Scratch series. Massive shout out to my boy, Cyanide. I didn't know this guy played RuneScape. I'm excited to play with him. He's a friend of mine. Um, but guys, we made a total of 10 mil on just these things that we have, but not counting the things that we bought. So I bought some gear and it cost me three mil for the gear. So I got myself my, what is it? The clue scroll hunter gear or the clue gear for 2.5 mil. So that brings us up to 12.5 mil. Then I got my gold guttons back, which is another 500K. And then I did some instances like 600K. We don't count that, but guys, we made 13 mil in this episode. We completed five to 10 clue scrolls. Look at this guy, a little handsome mother trucker. Five to 10 clue scrolls. We tried to make five mil. We ended up making 10 mil cash, which is insane. We got our full globe trotter our thieving outfit, and our Guthans back. We tried to kill a boss 10 to 50 times. We ended up doing over 100 kills, which is insane. And we got one unique, technically two, the Carol's Coif. We got the Bandos boost, but we're keeping those. So guys, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the fuss is down below. If you're excited for more of this, I would love to hear in the comments. If you got any tips for me, I'm not the biggest PVMer. Best thing I did was like 500% Arch Glacier. I've done some necks, I've done some Telos. Racks are easy, like all that fun jazz. But hit me up down below what you guys want to see in the next video. Other than that, I'm going to jump straight into it. We're going to get started with probably some hellware. And if you guys are excited, I'll see you then. Peace.